this video i will be sharing with you what the mind of a successful trader looks like this would help you know if you have the right mindset about trading and if not you might have to change how you think and it's important because if you have the wrong mindset about trading then you have close to no chance of achieving any success in this field because you'll be using your wrong mindset to use wrong approaches in the market which will negatively affect your long-term trading performance with the wrong mindset you might have bad trading habits out of ignorance and you'll be trading thinking you know what you're doing while you're doing it all wrong in the first place first to understand what a successful trader looks like we must go back to the basics we want to understand who are the pioneers of trading who actually started trading and how were they thinking you and i are not the pioneers of trading we just came into the trading space after the brokers came into the picture but initially the group of traders in the markets were the hedge funds the institutional investors and the big banks so if you want to understand how a successful trader should think or how their mind should look like i want you to look at the hedge funds how do hedge funds trade how do those big banks who are managing billions of dollars of capital trade what is their mindset like so in the mind of a successful trader the first thing that they understand is that transaction trading beats indicators any day anytime most of us when we started trading we came across indicators because they are everywhere for free at some point you start to realize that the indicators don't actually work and the earlier you realize this the better for your trading one of the major reasons why indicators don't work is most of them are actually very lagging what this means is that the indicator ends up giving you a confirmation to get into a trade very very late when the market has already moved with quite a significant move so unlike in price action trading you'll get the entry very very early because you are trading with maybe key levels but with indicators you'll be getting your entries very very late and when you backtest with indicators the funny thing is that some of them look like they actually work in the backtest because when you backtest most of the times you won't see the indicators lagging especially if you just look at the market in the past unless you're using a replay button let's say on the trading view think of these indicators are actually free they are everywhere and you don't need to pay to access them if just one or two of these free indicators worked do you think you'd still be having about 95 percent of traders who are losing so statistically it's already easy to prove that indicators don't work especially not in the long term before you jump on me i know you've probably seen a trader using indicators successfully but the reality is some traders have one or two indicators on their chart but they don't independently rely on these indicators most of them do price action analysis then maybe they'll just add an indicator for confluence myself i don't use any indicators i haven't found any that actually is reliable remember we want to think like the hedge funds do you genuinely believe a hedge fund will place a trade risk hundreds of millions of dollars of investors capital just because an indicator told them to buy or to sell of course not so how do the hedge funds look at the market you don't need to trade with a hedge fund to tell that they look for liquidity levels in the market because obviously they are trying to go against most of the people so that as most people are losing they can be able to liquidate their positions you must understand price action basic things like being able to interpret candlesticks understanding support and resistance levels understanding supply and demand levels what is the reason why price moves from one point to the other once you understand this you will be more likely to make better trading decisions in terms of buying and selling than just relying on indicators the second thing a successful trader understands that you don't need a high win rate to be successful in the trading space common misconception is that you need 80 90 100 percent win rate i'm not saying that a high win rate is actually bad if anything if you can get a high win rate then definitely it will increase your chances of being successful but the reality is most people will hardly come across a system that can give them even an 80 percent win rate you'll hear a lot of people on social media saying i have an 80 90 percent win rate but they're just making a youtube video if you ask them for their one year track record i can guarantee you for most people they don't have that 80 or 90 percent over a long period of time if you have 80 percent for one week doesn't mean you have an 80 percent win rate because we look at the long term maybe it was just a good week but over the long period of time you will hardly find any system that gives you high win rate i've been a victim of this in the past looking for a holy grail system which is going to be winning consistently and you find yourself just rotating in cycles because chances of you finding this high win rate of 80 90 percent is just highly unlikely so if you don't need a high win rate, then what do you need the answer is very simple you just need to be losing small and 
winning big is what is commonly referred to as having a great risk to reward ratio any strategy that has a high risk to reward ratio is most likely to be profitable regardless of the win rate for example if you have only a 30 percent win rate out of every 10 trades you only win three trades and you lose seven but you have a risk to reward of one is to three you'll still be profitable because what this means is that when you lose for each trade you only lose negative one so for the seven trades you'll end up losing negative seven in total but for the three trades that you win and you win three times for the three trades you gain positive nine the difference between nine and seven you're still positive two so despite having a 30 percent win rate the fact that you lose small and win big still makes you profitable and if positive two is not good enough for you you could try to aim for greater risk to reward like let's say one is to four one is to five so the things long term you don't judge their performance based on one single trade or just one single day or one week instead they look at the long-term trajectory of their trades it's very possible to have a negative trading day a negative week a negative streak of two weeks in a row but still finish your month net positive the opposite is true possible to have a very positive day positive week and still finish your month net negative so just because you had one extremely profitable day you should not be overexcited and think that all the days will be the same just because you had one bad trading day or trading week doesn't necessarily mean that you will finish your month in negative you could still have a negative month but finish your quarter positive these types of traders understand that the aim is to achieve overall consistency and not necessarily to win day by day or to win every trade in the market traders with a poor mindset get a very good day in the market they get an extremely positive let's say week or month then they end up thinking that all the months will be the same also when they are losing let's say they have one or two bad weeks they end up getting very frustrated and now they think they are bad traders yet it should not necessarily define your overall long-term performance part of thinking long term is that you'll automatically use proper risk management since you understand that the aim is to be in the field long term you can't afford to over risk and put crazy risk on one single trade because you want to manage your capital just in case of a losing streak you don't end up blowing your account with a poor mindset however you will try to sometimes catch you know a big win and what this means is that sometimes you try to use crazy risk on one trade hoping that maybe you'll be lucky and make some crazy capital the next thing a successful trader understands is that they have zero control over the market and that trading is simply based on probabilities and anything can happen in the market by the time you are pressing the buy or sell button price can either go to your favor or against your favor you should be very open-minded to any possibility and accept the fact that where price moves has got nothing to do with you as an individual and you can't control it the only confidence you have here is your backtest once you've backtested the markets the guarantee you can get from your backtest for example is as long as you keep taking the same trades consistently out of the next 10 or 20 trades you will be positive maybe six seven eight percent but what you can't tell is the order in which the profit trade will come versus the negative trades when you understand that you have no control you will be able to allow all trades to run to their full potential and you won't close trades prematurely just because maybe it's in profit or it's going a little bit negative it also helps you to be very restful in your trading i remember some time back i could hardly sleep whenever i had overnight trades I used to wake up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. just subconsciously and you're simply trying to look at your MT4, MT5 to see how your trades are performing. Once you understand that you have no control either way, then you might just sleep because whether you wake up or not, the market will still do whatever they want. So this allows you to trade without pressure and be open-minded. The next thing in the mind of a successful trader is that there is no better trading strategy than the other because as traders we've got different trading personalities what works for you might not necessarily work for me and vice versa this means once a successful trader finds a proper strategy that they have backtested and they can prove is working for them what they do is that they stick to that strategy regardless of what other people are using most people however have the wrong mindset and they think that we have strategies that are better than others don't get me wrong some strategies can have slightly better performance than the other but the reality is due to our different trading personalities they might not suit everyone your strategy can be giving you five or six percent someone else gets eight or nine percent just because of this two percent different you try to switch to theirs what you don't understand is that maybe they do scalping with scalping you know you're getting into the trades quickly faster and let's say your emotions have not matured enough at that level and you are very good at day trading so in this case when you switch from your strategy which was making five percent to the one that should be giving you let's say now eight or nine percent you end up being a losing trader with just breaking even because now it's affecting your emotions in a way that you didn't imagine so a successful trader won't try to trade like everyone else just because someone on social media is trading let's say ict concepts or 
another concept that is working for them doesn't mean it's the only way to make money if it's working for you that's fine but it doesn't always have to work for me don't forget the goal here is to achieve overall consistency it's not a competition on which strategy is better than the other there's a common joke that when two traders withdraw ten thousand dollars when the withdrawal hits the bank it won't come written that your ten thousand dollars was because of scalping or ict and the other one was because of let's say supply and demand or intraday trader the money will be the same the value will be the same so focus on being consistent and stick to what works for you the final thing a successful trader understands is that more capital equals the potential of more returns what this means is that if you want to increase your income in trading let's say you want to grow from making five thousand dollars to making ten or twenty thousand dollars don't increase your risk don't multiply the number of trades you now take in a day because you think when you trade more you'll make more money instead focus on scaling your capital luckily you can do this using prop work, so there's no excuse of saying you don't have the access to grow your capital if you're making five percent on a thousand dollar account that will be about fifty dollars a month now realistically this won't sustain you in any part of the world but if you're making five percent the same percentage on a two hundred thousand dollar account you will now be making ten thousand dollars a month and how do you achieve this it's very simple the same a thousand dollar that you are depositing to trade in your broker you could use that money to pay for a perform challenge which you'll get at a a 200k of course these i'm assuming you are a good trader who has the skills to do this then you'll pass the challenge high likely and you'll get refunded so it ends up being like you got funded for free because you get the refund once you pass the test and now you have access to 200k capital so the same five percent you are making a month instead of making fifty dollars you are now making ten thousand dollars so how you made more money was not by increasing the risk or increasing the number of trades but by scaling up the capital and you don't have to start with a 200k pro firm because of course a thousand dollars could be a lot of money for some people but you can start from as low as five thousand or ten thousand dollars which go as low as forty dollars on some companies then build your way up to eventually grow your capital to hundreds of thousands of dollars and potentially millions do this math if it takes you let's say one or one and a half years to grow from ten thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars worth of from capital which is quite realistic if you're a skilled trader you'll move from making whatever amount of money to about ten thousand dollar a month which means you are averaging about a hundred thousand dollars a year with this you are doing better than 90 percent of the world's population for most traders anytime you hear something like one or two year plan automatically it's a turn off because you want someone to give you a plan on how you'll make this money within the next three four five six months but unfortunately it's not realistic and in trading if you cannot sustain long-term thinking then you might just never test the big money so that's it for this video guys i hope it helps you to improve your trading mindset and don't forget to subscribe